So has Jeremy Swayman proven that Olmark is expendable? That has been a huge talking point with the Bruins for all throughout the season. Olmark has another year left on his deal. You have a lot of needy teams. The Bruins have holes on their roster. And the main reason the Bruins are this deep in this series against the Florida Panthers is Jeremy Swayman. Swayman has played fantastic. And I mean, outside of one game where even in that game, it wasn't really on him about the poor play in front of him. He has kept these close. He has just kept rising his level of play. And that's what you want to see from a young goaltender. Because going into the playoffs, there was some genuine questions like, okay, will Swayman be able to rise up to the occasion? Will he be a playoff goalie? Will he kind of turtle? We didn't know because he's outside of game seven of last year where he's put in an unfortunate situation. He didn't have a chance to prove himself. And, and he has kind of dispelled all the question marks around his playoff performance and whether he can perform in the clutch, carry a team, yada, yada, yada. Because that's always been a thing in Boston. We've had good goaltending. Whether it was Tuka Rast, Tim Thomas before him, we've had steady goaltending. Unfortunately for Olmark, whether it's fair or unfair, he'll now have this stigma of not being a playoff goalie. Even though in his one start, I thought he did well this year in the playoffs against the Toronto Maple Leafs. He just kind of got left out to dry a bit. Yeah, he comes in relief to the Florida. I really don't count that against him because the Bruins are already getting lit up. It makes it so you look at a guy like Swayman. He's younger. You're going to have to pay him again this offseason because he's an RFA. You're going to have to pay him his market value. And can you afford to have two goalies? with significant cap hits and with Olmark he'll probably be the cheaper goalie at least I assume after the RFA <laughs> negotiations happen right but you look at a guy like Olmark it's like does it make sense to pay a guy like him five million and yeah you might have one of the best tandems in the NHL but does that help you with your ultimate goal and to me when you have guys like Bussy, DiPietro, waiting down in the wings in the Providence Bruins you have in my opinion guys that could be fine enough in a backup role at the NHL level and you could just ride a guy like Swayman until the wheels fall off now I'm not saying to make him play 70 80 games for a season nothing crazy but I think Bussy or DiPietro could be fine enough with like you know 20 20 25 ish games maybe even 30 depending on how things shake out old mark is a luxury the bruins don't need especially with all the holes that they have in their lineup because when i look at the bees matthew patra when he comes back i feel very very confident about his future with the bruins i think he'd be fine in a second line center role even next season but they, they do have holes they don't have a bona fide number one center and while I think Charlie Coyle has answered a lot of those question marks, he could fill as a 2C role well. You get it, you trade a guy like Olmark, you should be able to get a solid player in return, whether that's a center or maybe just another top six wing that gives you more scoring punch because the Bruins are missing a couple pieces in their top six to be a legitimate contender, in my personal opinion. Now, maybe they prove me wrong. They go on a miraculous run and win the Stanley Cup this year, and I hope that's the case. I just think they're a couple pieces away. And when I look at Olmark, he's a great goaltender. He won a Vezina. He was he's been fantastic here since he came from Buffalo. I think it makes sense investing in the future, retaining Swayman for a long term, and how would I put this? Assessing like filling trading him to fill needs in other positions of your team. In the other positions of your team. Uh, he, he could nicely get you some type of return. And then when you look at teams like the Edmonton Oilers, for example, Calvin Picker will most likely be the Game 5 starter in their playoff round, right? Stuart Skinner, while not all the goals are on him in his series, he's nothing that you can write home about. Like, oh, wow, I feel confident in him being an elite goalie. He's just kind of like average, average NHL goalie. Um, he did have a really good run, and maybe he can kind of keep improving and keep developing. Uh, but I look like a team like the Oilers that should be in a win-now mode. You bring a guy like Olmark in, you feel better about their goaltending situation. I think Olmark is a better goalie than Skinner. Uh, around the league, I mean, the Colorado Avalanche, they would definitely love a guy like Olmark. Uh, I mean, Georgiev has been... He's made some really nice stops, so I'm not trying to 
shoot dirt on kick dirt on his name uh, there's plenty of teams around the league that could really utilize a solid number one uh, the Bruins have the luxury of having two of them which most teams don't I've been really impressed with Swayman in this postseason he's definitely put to bed any questions about his ability to perform in the playoffs and it's not like it's a flash in the pan situation he's constantly shown development year after year after year and i would feel completely comfortable with him being just the sole number one and whether it would be bussy dipietro or you bring in a cheaper goalie in a backup type position uh, if the bruins want to contend and fill needs it just makes sense to deal a guy like olmark it really does but I'd like to know your thoughts in the comments section. Does Jeremy Swayman's performance in this postseason make Olmark expendable? Let me know your thoughts down below. Captain Paul, see you in the next one.